everyone, so off the back of the YouTube tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use Vimeo now to stream your media with the theme or plugin. So you can simply come in and paste in, take, um, sorry, copy your Vimeo URL. You simply paste the Vimeo URL into the theme, okay, in the demo. We're under just where it says CDN URL, you can click update. And if you head over to Vimeo and then click restart, you'll see it's playing through the Vimeo URL. Now the only disadvantage of this is if you're using the Vimeo URL, you won't be able to use um, an AVOD model. Uh, like in the YouTube uh, tutorial, but I'm going to show you how you can do this. So if you upgrade your account to Vimeo Pro, it gives you extra options. You have distribution here on the right hand side. So if you just scroll down on distribution, you'll see I'll have a section that says video file links. Okay, so these are um, direct links to your videos. So what you can do is you can come in, and I would suggest using the HTTP live stream into HLS. Copy the link, and then you can just go ahead and paste this in the direct link. Okay. Now what this will do is you'll then be using the S3 Bubble UI for the player, okay, and it'll be the same as if you use a direct player with the plugin. Okay, so I um, guess I should show you how to do it with the plugin quickly. So with the plugin, same as before, players. Um, what we're going to do, create a player, direct URL, okay, to paste it in. Okay, now we can copy that. We can go ahead and we can update our code. Um, select our player, insert. Let's just go ahead and go to. Um, let's come look at this as HTML, um, and we'll just remove the first um, player. So I'm just going to get rid of this one here. Uh, it's actually wrapped them together, which wouldn't work. So we'll just take that out, paste that in there. Okay, and click play. Okay, and you can see it's playing our Vimeo URL directly. Now the advantages of doing it this way with a direct URL is you can go ahead and the same as YouTube video. If we take a AVOD model, so you have your um, VMAP, whether you're using PageSpeed, um, Google IMA, whichever um, ad network you're using, you can simply go ahead, paste it in. Okay, and then if you click restart you'll see it will start to play the AVOD model. So you can do an AVOD model with Vimeo using direct URL. So it's as simple as that, just pasting in the direct URL. And you don't need to worry about the Vimeo UI and it looks custom, okay? So you're pretty much just using Vimeo as a CDN. Okay, and again with Vimeo, exactly the same as YouTube. If you wanted to do a pay-per-view model, you can just scroll down and we can add one of these WooCommerce products, okay? And click update. So these are just WooCommerce products. Um, this is a pay-per-view one and we've set it up um, for a specific price and we can say if we left it like this to show you it will ask them to pay straight away so they have to purchase the video to actually view it but you can also give a teaser time which is a great um, functionality because you can say I want you to be able to view at least five seconds of the video okay and then after five seconds of the video so once they get to over five seconds it's going to ask them to purchase okay so it lets them gives them a teaser time podcast download um, you can add a direct link to your download within the file so once they've paid they'll get a direct link through their email and you can also require login so make sure that they have to log in before they can even view the um, video okay so that's how to use Vimeo and on the next tutorial we're going to touch on Cloudflare